Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a hot minute since I posted a video. Um, long story short, I was super busy with work, very stressed out, and didn't really feel like I had the mental or physical time and space to create content that would actually be beneficial to people and that I would actually enjoy filming. So I finished that job now and I'm good again, um, or I'm getting back, back on track. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. Okay, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, um, this is my minimal travel gift guide. Um, I'm going to show you 10 things that I would have loved to receive as gifts and that I would totally give to my friends um, if, or family if I knew that they were wanting something more travel related. Um, so let's start. Easiest one and number one thing that everybody needs is packing cubes. This is the Peak Design one. Um, I got this this year, um, even though I haven't done that much travelling. But I like it because it has the main like open compartment, but also the back little pocket where you can put your dirty laundry. Um, but it's just a nice little square one. They also have like one that's half the size like that. Um, but I've also just used Kathmandu ones in the past and they've worked great, super durable, super lightweight. Okay, the second thing that I think is just absolutely essential is a Turkish towel or Turkish cotton towel, however you want to describe it. It doesn't technically have to be made out of Turkish cotton specifically because some of those can be very expensive. Um, but I just got this one from a local company. Um, I had another one before from the brand Made, but I lost it slash left it in a hostel. Um, but they are just the perfect towel there for, like, you can use them at the beach and they look cool. They don't look like those, like, silly camp towels, the microfiber ones. I, I hate those. But they actually look like a proper beach towel, but then they dry super fast, um, are, like, anti- microbial or whatever it, so it doesn't like smell really fast um so you can like use it heaps without having to wash it like in the laundry too many times um and also super lightweight packs up super compact um and you know yeah it looks pretty way nicer than those camp towels those microfiber ones are terrible but yeah, Turkish Towel. There's heaps of um, brands. I'll link a few down below, but definitely need one of those. Okie dokie. So the next thing is um, a toiletry bag. I mean, people probably have a toiletry bag, but that's probably pretty basic. Um, and you can get a bunch of good ones online. And one that they're probably going to use for a long, long time. Um, so I recently got this North Face one this year. I feel like it's recent because I have barely used it because I haven't been traveling but I got it this year. Um, as you know most people haven't really been traveling this year. But um, super durable. It's very water resistant. I like it because this one has a hook so you can hang it up if you... Ooh, whoops. So you can hang it up if you want to but also it will stand on its own um, without falling over. Um, so those are some really great features. <laughs> but I'll link a few other ones down below that I would recommend. This one's pretty big, great if you're a girl or a guy who likes to take a decent amount of stuff but not too much. Um, but yeah, you can definitely get smaller, more compact ones on the market as well. So along the lines of cases, um, Next thing I recommend is a cord organizer or like tech case, whatever you want to call it. This one is just a super basic one I got off Amazon. I used it um, all through my travels last year and the year before. So I've had it for like three years now. Um, and yeah, it's just got like the inside with like one zip pocket here, another zip pocket at the top with like little ST, SD card slots. And then all the elastic slots in here and a couple of like pockety ones here. This one is super great and super basic if you're not wanting to spend a load of money. But there are definitely some other good ones out there that are more like a pouch so you like open it like that. Um, from Balroy which I'll link down below because those are the kind of ones I'm after at the moment after using this for two years. Still great but I'm just wanting to upgrade a little bit. 
Next, I've got the MAC in a sack raincoat. Um, for ages, I was looking for a very, very small, compact raincoat that was actually waterproof because a lot of the ones that you can buy are like shower proof. And now, actually, after using this through Africa, England, you know, places that can be very rainy, um, I wouldn't say it's 100% waterproof. It says waterproof on the bag. It just gets a little bit like moist inside if you're in torrential rain for a very 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 long period of time but it is like probably the best one that I've tried that is this compact um, so yeah I will link them down below super great you can hang it on your backpack on the outside or whatever or you can just slot it into your little day pack it's just so handy Alright, this might be a bit weird for some people, but the next thing I recommend is actually a pair of shoes. Um, they are the Birkenstock Evas, or EVA, whatever you say. Um, I just have the plain black ones here, um, but I got these at the start of last year, um, and I wore them all through like England, Spain, Africa, um, everywhere. I had normal Birkenstocks the year before which I wore through um, South and Central America but I ended up buying Jandals or flip flops if you're not from New Zealand um, because normal Birkenstocks you're not supposed to get wet but that is the best thing about these is that you get like the comfort and style of a Birkenstock but in a waterproof like situation. Um, so you can totally wear them to the beach, but then you can kind of like transition if you put on like a nicer outfit to the bar, like great with like a little maxi skirt and like top or I don't know, whatever your, your journey is. But these are honestly some of the best travel shoes I would recommend. And I think they suit everyone. They do have different styles. So this is the Arizona one that I would recommend, but they do have like different styles if you'd rather something different. But, yes, these, I mean, this and this are probably like my two beach essentials could not go without. Um, Alright, the last three things are comfort related, I would say. And I wouldn't say they're 100% necessary, but they are nice things to have. Um, so the first one is a comfy eye mask. This one is from a brand called Peter Alexander. They make like, um, kind of more luxurious sleepwear but I got this mask from them and it's just so soft it's like just a pillow on your eyes basically and it's um the elastic is not too tight because I found sometimes with other ones that I used before I got this it was so tight and because my <laughs> I have really big eyes and so it was like pushing against my eyes and then when I wake up my eye like I couldn't see for like a good half an hour like my eyes are all fuzzy um so this is perfectly like comfortable on my head and I don't know I just say invest in a nice soft eye mask if you want to go for the silk or like satin kind of route those are really nice too um but yes because on planes trains and buses when you want to have a sleep you can do that or in a hostel where someone might turn the light on you will not be disturbed it is great so the next thing is actually super cheap, not hugely environmentally friendly, but sometimes it's just nice. So I've got a sheet mask or a face mask here that is from Tony Moly is the brand, um, but you can get any brand you like. Um, but they are just perfect for travel, for on the go, if you don't want to bring like a whole entire like tub of face mask or tube of face mask. This is great to just give your skin that like pick me up that it might need either midway through your trip, on the plane, whatever your circumstance, um, but they are peak. And this was only like $3.70 I think, um, so they're super cheap and a great stocking stuffer actually I would say, like just to pop this in someone's stocking if you do that thing at your house. And the very last thing I would recommend is travel sized makeup. Now, I'm a bit debatable on this because, again, trying to be more sustainable in my life. Um, and I know that a lot of makeup comes in plastic and you just throw it out and obviously it sits in a landfill. 
but if it's something that you're going to use for ages or you're definitely going to use up like all of it and not just waste it sometimes I think it's kind of worth it um, but a couple of essential products for me um, is the Benefit Gimme Brow oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it um, and this is just like a brow gel with like fibers and it, you just put it on your eyebrows and it looks like your brows are super nicely done and you've really barely done anything um, so that is and this isn't actually travel size this is the normal size that it comes in um, but it's just the perfect size for travel so this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this is a waterproof version but I could not find my um, normal version for some reason but waterproof could be great if you know someone's going to a beach destination and they want to wear makeup while they're swimming I don't wear makeup while I'm swimming but just in case they wanted to do that you can get the waterproof version but the normal version is my favorite mascara um, it's just so volumizing and makes my lashes like super fluttery but <laughs> anyways those are kind of a few products which I think I can justify for myself buying in travel size um, instead of buying like the full size again one other thing that I would say is great to buy in travel size is a highlighter like honestly how much highlighter are you really using that you need to buy like a huge full highlighter pan you know just think about that for a second a mini highlighter is a super cute stocking stuffer as well I had one but I dropped it on my friend's floor and unfortunately it broke everywhere so I feel like I've just talked and talked in this video but hopefully that gave you a few um, ideas for gifts for the minimal travel traveler that you know um, I will leave loads of links down below where you can find things and buy things and yeah thanks so much for watching keep an eye out for new content coming soon it's summer here in New Zealand and I'm ready to road trip everywhere since I can't fly overseas right now um, coronavirus I'm sure you've heard <laughs> anyways thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already I would love to have you as, um, as part of our little gang over here and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful interesting useful um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.